Hi there, my name is Jeff Fritz, and I'm a member of the Visual Studio team, and I'd like to welcome you to using Visual Studio 2019. The first time you start Visual Studio, you're going to see a screen that looks like this behind me. There's the left half that will show you the list of recent projects that you've been working on. This is the first time we've opened Visual Studio, so there's nothing here yet. On the right side, you can choose to get started in several different ways with some existing code or even start a new project. Or, if you really don't want to start with any code, you can click this link down at the bottom to continue without opening any code whatsoever. Let's get started and build our first .NET Core console application using C Sharp. I'll scroll down and choose the Create New Project option. And it'll prompt me to choose from a series of templates that are available that come as part of Visual Studio. The one we're looking for is this one right at the top, Console Application with .NET Core. It's going to be built with C Sharp. It can run on Linux, Mac OS, or Windows, and it's a console application. So I'll choose that and click Next. Now I can name my project. Let's call this First Application. That folder is fine, and the solution, the grouping of all of my projects, we'll just give it the same name and tell it to create. There we go. Visual Studio is opened, and there's our first file, Program CS. You can see it here in the Solution Explorer on the left, and the contents here on the right. This is a C-sharp file. The .cs extension indicates that it contains C-sharp program code. This is our program class, and it has one method, static void main, and it takes a collection of arguments called args that are passed into it. It does one thing, right line to the console, hello world. Let's press F5 and start this application and see what happens when we run it. Did you see it? Did you see it? It opened and closed so fast, we, we really couldn't see it if it was writing hello world or not. So here's what we're going to do. I can run this application again, but disable the debugger and we'll see the results. There's several different ways that I can do that, but I'm going to press Control F5 and it runs it without the debugger and I get it saying hello world right there above me and press any key to continue. Fantastic. It showed me hello world and it worked just fine. I can add a little bit of code right here after this console write line to actually prompt every time to press any key to continue. I can do that by including another call to console.write line. And take a look at this. This is called IntelliSense inside of Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio telling us a little bit of the features that are available to us that we can use as part of the C-sharp programming language with the console object. It's also giving us a little bit of a description as to what this method does. Writes the current line terminator to the standard output stream. So I'll just finish this. Press any key to continue. Semicolon. And now I'll actually have it listen for any key to be pressed. Console.read key. There we go. I'll press F5 to start it again, or I can actually click this play button up here at the top and it'll start my application. There it is. Hello world. Press any key to continue. And if I press any key, it finishes and I'm returned to Visual Studio. All right. That's your first application here in Visual Studio 2019. What are you going to build? What do you want to know about Visual Studio going forward? We've got a bunch of great resources for you on the Visual Studio YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash Visual Studio and you can learn about all the great features that are available. There's also fantastic blog articles for you on devblogs.microsoft.com slash Visual Studio. You can learn about some of the great features and some of the things that we have planned and that are on the roadmap for the next updates to Visual Studio. 
Join some of the members of the Visual Studio team on weekly shows that we host on our Twitch channel. Go to twitch.tv slash visual studio and click the follow button so you can be notified every time that they go live with an additional show talking about all the great things that are going on in the Visual Studio community. Thanks so much for watching. Best of luck to you in all the great code projects that you have ahead of you. Take care.